Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and in this video I'm sharing with you how to set up an Ardor wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. The first step here is to find the correct domain name. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm going to go ahead and go to coinmarketcap.com and in the search here on the top right, I can search Ardor, which is spelled A-D-O-R. It usually loads it up here, which I could click and it takes me directly to this cryptocurrency. And what I'm going to do here is click the website so I could go to their website which is ardorplatform.org. So great, if you wanna go ahead and search that in your browser, it's ardorplatform.org. Ardor is spelled A-R-D-O-R. And if you do, just make sure you don't misspell anything and confirm it's a HTTPS website and verify it's a secure connection by seeing if it has a green padlock on the top here or not. So it does say it's secure, so we're good here. The second way we could find their website is to go back on coinmarketcap.com here and we can scroll down to their social here which is a tab next to markets and tools and charts. I could click that and if I scroll down it'll take me to the profile for Ardor platform and I'm going to go ahead and click that. They have 73,000 followers which is a good amount and the link that they're promoting is ardorplatform.org. I'll go ahead and click that and as you can see it takes us back to the same website. So this is the official website for Ardor. We're going to exit out of this for now and I'll exit out of Twitter and I'll exit out of CoinMarketCap for now. So this leads us to step number two which is to choose the correct wallet. We're going to go back on this website right here and all we have to do is click the wallet button right here in the middle next to white paper and I will do that right now and now it's giving us the options to download there's the Linux Mac Windows and Android option right here uh, at this point in the video go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you I'll be using my Mac desktop here however continue following along with me in the video before we do download the wallet, I do want to let you know that this wallet or client is the official wallet, highly recommended for everyone, and it's developed and maintained by the core Ardor dev team. So I would say that this is a safe wallet to use. And we're going to go ahead and go to step number three, which is to download the wallet. And going back on this website here, all you have to do is click this button, which says download. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what happens is on the bottom left side of my screen here, it says that it's starting to download and it's going to take about five minutes to do. So at this point in the video, feel free to pause the video now and recontinue the video once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great. So it officially downloaded. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is step number four, install the wallet. So all you have to do is click the download here once and it starts opening up here and we'll wait for that. It's saying to drag my installer into the applications folder. So go ahead and do that too. And it starts copying and we're going to try opening it by double clicking on it right here. And it's saying, are you sure you want to open it? I'm going to go ahead and say open. So here it is. Let's uh, start with the process. It says, please select your language. I'm going to click English and click OK. It's saying here, welcome to the installation for Ardor 2.0. We're going to go ahead and click the next step here. And the next step here is to please read the following license agreement carefully. So go ahead and pause the video now and carefully read this. It's very important to read these disclaimers and security warnings and pop-ups and read them completely. So go ahead and pause the video here and continue playing the video once you're done. So great, 
So now that you've done that, you're gonna click I accept the terms of this license agreement and then click next after you read all this here. And it says, please read the following information. So go ahead and read this and then f continue with the process. It's saying to select the installation path. I'm just gonna choose what the default is and click next. And the, it says here, message, the target directory will be created and I'm gonna click okay. On this step right here, which is step five out of eight, it's saying check to operate as light client or check to use testnet. I'm gonna choose this first option, which is the light client option, and then click next. And here it is installing. Okay, great, it says it's finished now. So I'm gonna click next. And it says here installation has completed. And what I'm gonna do now is click done. And to reopen it, I'm gonna go to my finder, I'm gonna go to my applications, and then find Ardor here. And what I'm gonna do is right click it and click open. And here it is, this is it. So this is what the welcome looks like. It says returning user or new. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account. It's giving me an automatically generated passphrase, which is this right here. What you're gonna wanna do is write this down and store it safely. And you could also store this on your password manager. The one we use on our team is keypass.info. It's mandatory that you save sensitive information like this on password managers. So what it's saying here is to write it down or memorize these 12 words, their order and capitalization matters, always lowercase and this passphrase is needed in order to access your account. And it's giving me my public address right here. So that's public, I could share that with people and you could go ahead and save that on your password manager too. And it says here, attention, don't ever disclose your passphrase. If you lose it, you will lose access to your account. That's very important. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and click check here. I will not forget my passphrase and I will never disclose it. Again, this is a demo account, so this information here is not relevant. I am not gonna be using this information or wallet. So it doesn't matter to me whether or not you see this information on my screen right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And it says your passphrase is very important. In order to be sure that you have saved it, please write your passphrase below. So remember to store that safely, write it down or memorize it, and then enter it into here. And you're gonna go ahead and click next. And voila, this is the interface for Ardor. It says here on the top in green, welcome to your, your new account. Your account ID is this, which is a string of numbers and letters. When funding your account for the first time, you can increase your security by providing your public key, which is this. So I could actually share this link with other people because it's a public key. And there's balances here. It says there's zero account balance here, asset values, currencies values, purchase products, so this is the first wallet that I've seen that has a bunch of buttons on it, which is pretty cool. For account balance here, there's more info here. So if I click that, it'll give me more account details for my account. And this is my public key, which I could share with people. And there's account leasing here and account control. I'm gonna exit out of that. There's an assets value section here. If I click more info, there's no assets. So what I can do is click back here and then click back to dashboard. So this home tab right here directs me to mostly everything. And there's account ledger, account properties, my transactions, approval requests, approval models. I could, on the top here, it says set account info. I could put my name, I could put a description, I could put a minimum fee and a passphrase to update my account. I could switch my account, which is this blue button right here. And this Ardor blue button right here says that I can choose different cryptocurrencies.
Uh, the other ones are Ignis, and this one that's A-E-U-R, and Bitswift. On the top here, it says send Bitswift if I want to. I would just have to put in their address right here on the top, choose amount, send fee and passphrase, and submit. And then again, I could switch back to Ardor here. And then if you look back on the top, it changes back to Ardor. If I click that, I could choose the Ardor address, choose the amount of Ardor, add a message if I want to, calculate the fee, put in my password or my passphrase, and then click Submit. Here is the settings. There's blocks, peers, generators, monitors, blenders, plugins, account settings, device settings, generate token, calculate hash, transaction operations, refresh search index, API console, database shell. And then there's also a button here that can take me to a web wallet. And if you click under dashboard here, there's a coin exchange. So I could exchange coins right here. Yes, there's quite a bit of buttons here on the Ardor client. I, I definitely can't cover everything in this video. I am not gonna be talking about how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it, and also show you around a little bit and show you what the user interface looks like. There is one more step that I wanted to show you, which is to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So what I'm gonna do back here on this wallet is on the top right, I'm gonna click this power down button and it says log out or log out and clear user data. And what I'm gonna do is just log out and clear user data. And all personal settings like contacts or asset bookmarks will be deleted. continue. I'm gonna click cancel. What I'm gonna actually do is click the power button and then click log out and there it is logged out. So I know for a fact I can't just log back in without the right information. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna just exit out of this for now. And to make sure it's fully not connected to your computer anymore, you would wanna go to Finder and then under Devices here, you're gonna go ahead and eject out of this Ardor application and it officially is no longer connected. So great. To reopen it, you're gonna go back to your Finder, go to your applications and then find Ardor here and what I'm gonna do here is right click and then click open. And here it is loading one more time. So perfect. It says here, select an account to log in with. And it looks like it remembers me, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that option. And voila, here it is one more time. So perfect. Congratulations, you successfully downloaded and installed the Ardor wallet. This is what it looks like. And that concludes what I have to share in this video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Feel free to take a screenshot or check out the links below. You could follow our team on Twitter. You can find my handle at Denny Lovejoy, and Denny is spelled D-E-N-N-I. And thank you so much for watching this blockchain tutorial on how to set up an Ardor wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment on YouTube or leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day. I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.